Hello everybody, my name is Kate Wisby. I'm a private piano and voice teacher here in Charlottesville, Virginia. I also am a private music teacher in a uh, school that's for toddlers up to first grade in Charlottesville, Virginia. Um, I received my BA in music from Christopher Newport University and I've owned my business for over four years now um, in Charlottesville. And I um, am currently working on my master's in business with a concentration in music business. Um, I um, am creating all these slides and presentations for you uh, because I recently heard back from my students that homeschooling uh, music classes is something that's not part of their curriculum and uh, or needs some work. And so I wanted to give some resources, not just to my piano and private piano and voice students, but also to children that are gonna be homeschooled this summer. I mean, not this summer, this fall. <laughs> so if you have any questions, feel free to email me. It's katewisbemusic at gmail.com. Again, it's K-A-T-E-W-I-S-B-E-Y-M-U-S-I-C at gmail.com. And this presentation is just for middle schoolers. So enjoy, have a good one, bye. And Last but not least, I can't forget about middle school. So for middle school ages, this is some ideas that I have. There's Hello Song, um, and I love this one. It's called Groovy Hello. <laughs> Welcome to music room. It's time to move and grow. Sing hello to everyone. It's time to improvise, ready, set, vocalize. Ba -da 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 -bam, ba -ba -da -da. about her is that she does a lot of improvisation in her songs so definitely uh, and again I, all these will be sent out to you as links uh, but she's a great singer and what I love about her as a musician she does a lot of improvisation from improvisation with her, her singing that's just awesome uh, then there's different things so as you get to middle school you're getting to learn more about meter and rhythm and understanding more about it so there's different videos we have from duple and triple meter. We're not going to do all of this, but this is just an example of what a duple, or I'm saying a tri triple would be. Triple meter, triple meter, what does it mean? Triple meter, triple meter, what does it mean? When the micro beats go do da dee do da dee, macro beats go do do. Triple meter, triple meter, moving in threes is me. But what I like about her is that she does a lot of improvisation, like I said, so she'll ask you to come along. What Sorry, my computer's getting a little wonky. Uh, but, but anyway, she asks you to come with her and she actually has you do things on your own. So you're creating your own triple meters. So it's a lot of fun. There's also a really fun game called the Rhythm Clock Game. So I definitely suggest this one too. Hi, I'm Janice Tuck. And today I'm going to show you a fun game which you can play with primary age children called Rhythm Clock. And what this game works on is some basic rhythm skills and confidence with playing rhythms and oral listening skills as well. Now I'm going to show you two ways to play this. Firstly, for the technology challenged classrooms, which was like my classroom for pretty much all of my teaching career. And then a way to play utilising the interactive whiteboard. So firstly, using good old fashioned pens and whiteboards. So what you do is firstly draw a big analog clock on your class whiteboard and simply number it like any other clock. Then you make some simple four beat rhythm cards and place them over each number like this. Now we've provided the templates for you for the ones that we've used, but you could easily make your own if your class is currently learning different rhythm patterns. Now the first step to playing the game is actually learning to play the rhythm clock here. 
So let's play one o'clock. You ready? There it is. Your turn. My turn. Your turn. It's so much fun when you get some music to go along with it. So I've included a little MP3 file below that you can use as an underscore. Now you can download this and move it to your iPod or media player or even burn it to a CD. Now if you wanted to extend your classes even more than this, then remember you can easily do it by playing with untuned percussion instruments or you can get each child in your class to play a part individually. It's up to you and the choices are limitless. So once you've done all those steps, all you need to do then is turn it into a guessing game. I'll show you how I do it. My turn. Your turn. What time, everyone? That's right, it's one o'clock. Now, if you're lucky enough to have access to an interactive whiteboard like this smart board here, then you can download the files we've got for you below. You'll be able to drag and drop the virtual cards on the screen and play the music file with the easy music player below. So let me know how you get on with it. You'll find all the materials you need for this below this video if you're watching it on our website. And so that's a really fun game to play, um, especially when you have elementary school as well as middle, uh, just because uh, they're learning how to read, you know, how to read, how to read time <laughs> on a clock. So it's, it's a wonderful game to play on that one. Um, and then we've got some sample music lesson videos. I'm not going to play the whole thing. But all right, good afternoon. So sixth graders were having music. But basically she does a whole music lesson on there. So I will attach all these videos as well for our sixth graders, um, usually sixth, seventh, and eighth on here. And so she's actually got a lot of whole videos. And that's a good thing of quarantine is there are actually some uh, music teachers out there that have shared resources to use for all ages and you can use them even into the fall. So I definitely suggest that. And I definitely suggest this teacher. She's great. Uh, um, if I can get her. She, Ms. Clemens. So that's the woman you just saw. And she does all, oh, like I said, every week she has a new one. So especially if you're in middle school, these are great videos to have for middle schoolers um, that you can use each week. And just put your TV, <laughs> put your YouTube on, and you're good to go. You can do a whole music class on there. So that's great. Uh, we're going to finish off. Uh, I think that everything, especially in middle school, you should always end with a dance party, right? And so there's a really fun creative, I think it's really great to have some creative movement uh, dance songs. So this is Ahoy Pirates, and then there's an ending game I want to show you, and then we're almost done. <laughs> Mateys, come with me, come to explore the deep blue sea. Yo, mateys, don't delay, wallowing seas await. Pirates are we, happy to be, pirates we cheer for the deep blue sea. Pirates we sing, pirates we dance, pirates we're happy and free. Oh, yo, mateys, come with me, come to explore the deep blue sea. Yo, mateys, don't delay, wallowing seas await. for coming. Shall we do some pattern interaction? Yeah, okay. Are you going to be the same or different? Well, let's try the same. Ready? Here we go. Oh, wait, what meter are we in? Duple? No, why not? Are you feeling triple? Come back here, please. Okay, stay right here. All right, my turn. And so it just keeps going, but what it does is you do more and more complex rhythms as you go on. So it's a great activity and it's it's fun, it's more interactive and you dance with it and things like that. So there's one more ending game I want to show you. 
Um, and like I said, I've had, oh, before I start this, I have on the slideshow, it shows you how much time you would spend on each section. So about 10 minutes just watching that video or doing that game video, and then you would have five minutes of ending game. So you're doing basically about a half hour for middle school and about 20 minutes for elementary school. And then again, I would say preschool, pre-K, kindergarten, first grade, around uh, 15 minutes for a music class if you're doing a general music class. So here's the ending, oh, the ending game. Let's see if we can get to it. Dum dum da da. 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 So what I really like about them is that they're really short. Uh, they're called energizers and they were actually made for public school systems as a transitional item. So it was actually not originally for music class. It was for originally just being in the classroom, just getting the kids energetic and getting their energy out. So energizers are all over the internet and they're just awesomeness. They're, if you need to just have your kid release some energy, just put on an energizer. They're just transitional different songs that you can do. Um, and again, I always say end with a dance party. So of course I have a link to an awesome dance party. We're not gonna do all 10 minutes. Kids like things that are fun. So you always have to end it in a fun way <laughs> when it comes to music, trying to do things like that as well as do the hard stuff. So that kind of is an overview of all that. I just want to say thank you for joining me today. Again, and just a reminder, please uh, Venmo me at, at Kate-Wisby and send me $5 for joining me today. Um, that's if you're a music student of mine. Um, if you are not, then it is $10 for today for non-students to use this material. Um, but like I said, everything will be on the YouTube and you can check it out and this will be at a later date online as well. Um, or you can just send it at PayPal slash Kate Wisby Music LLC. Uh, I've recently become an LLC with my company um, on there as well. If you want additional materials, again, just email me at katewisbymusic at gmail.com. Again, it's K-A-T-E-W-I-S-B-E-Y-M-U-S-I-C at gmail.com. Or just check out my Facebook page, uh, Kate Wisby Music LLC. Um, our website is also here as well. It's awesome. It'll give lots of details of, of what we're doing during this COVID-19 situation. Um, and so this kind of takes you through and shows you the different parts of it. Um, and like I said, there's a section for home, there's a section for meet me, and it gives my information, piano lessons, whoops, it's, it's going down. <laughs> but anyway, uh, piano lessons, uh, voice lessons, and uh, more. So that kind of gives you an overview of what is on our uh, website as well, and talks about the different things we've done this summer. So we've done some awesome things like We've done some virtual bingo nights. We did some music bingo and we had some great prizes like Burger King gift cards. We did, um, what else did we do? Um, all Hello everybody, I hope you enjoyed our presentation. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at k-a-t-e-w-i-s-b-e-y-m-u-s-i-c at gmail.com. Again, it's katewisbemusic at gmail.com. Uh, I also do have openings for any voice or piano students, so feel free to email me if you would like to learn more. All right, have a great day. Bye, hope it was helpful.